Well, hello, everyone. It's your host with the most right here. It's Team Rai Rai. Now, everyone out there, how are you doing on this Friday edition? I am doing wonderful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have social media accounts. But I will discuss that matter after this part of the video is over. Capiche? Now, sit back. Relax, put your feet up, grab some eat, or grab some drink. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this. Because this will be a special video because it is the Royal Rumble production video. So hopefully you guys and gals enjoy this video. Let's begin here, shall we? Now, this event will take place tomorrow night live in San Antonio, Texas, home of the HBK Heartbreak Kid and other sporting history in the making. Even the Alamo is part of it, too, you know? You know, non Russian related. Anywho, I don't know how many times that the Royal Rumble host. In San Antonio. Can anyone please let me know? Is this the third time overall? Or the fourth time? Now. This card looks pretty good. Okay. Of course. Everyone is looking forward to. The men's Royal Rumble itself. And also. The women's Royal Rumble itself. Okay. Now a few years ago. They finally added. The women's Royal Rumble. They should have done that. Back in the day, but I guess it was never really popular until give a divas a chance, and then the rest is history. Okay, now I don't know if this is gonna be the first match of the open card, I have no idea. And there's no pre show match, maybe they will announce it tonight on SmackDown, or maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna wing it the best I can. The Raw Women's Championship will be up for grabs. We have um, Blanca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. Not that long ago, Alexa Bliss became the new number one contender, and she has like these demons in her head. Um, Bray Wyatt is in her head. Look like Bray Wyatt is wants to recru recruit her once again. Now, do you like Alexa Bliss gimmick when she was a uh, team up with um, Bray Wyatt or not? Now, some people thinks. That it's time for um, a Blanca Belair to drop that belt. Probably she's not going to drop the belt until after the Royal Rumble or after WrestleMania. I think she might drop it tomorrow night, maybe with some interference. Or she might lose it in between before WrestleMania. So my wild pick is I'm going with new champion Alexa Bliss. With some interference with Bray Wyatt or Uncle Howdy or whatever they call him. You know, I don't remember. So, sorry. So, you like to build up or not? Next one is another title match. But I think it would be later on in the, in the card. But I'm going to do this anyway. It will be the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. You have Roman Reigns, the Chavo Chief. He has a title long enough okay versus Kevin Owens now this is the third time they met at the Royal Rumble okay and they always say third time's a charm we'll see will Sami Zayn get involved or not now he's not gonna be on TV tonight because Roman Reigns don't want to see him until tomorrow night at the Royal Rumble will he be part of it in some Kind of infection, maybe he will get involved like a special referee and screw Kevron or screw Roman Reigns. We'll find out. We'll find out what's going to happen. So I'm saying for another wild card pick, I'm going with Kevron to get revenge of the last two times at the Royal Rumble. Remember that? Probably it's not going to happen. That's just my wild pick, but my real. Theory is that he wants Roman Reigns to become, I mean, still your champion at the end of the night. 
I know it bogus in it, but that's how it is. Okay, next one is the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match. Bray Wyatt, for the first time since he re he returned to the company, versus L.A. Knight. Now, do you guys like this feud or not? It's take forever to have Bray Wyatt to compete. Why does it take forever? Who knows? It's a very slow process. I don't know if a lot of you are losing patience. Now we all know that hands down that Bray Wyatt is going to win his first match since he got released. That would be kind of stupid on W's part that LA Knight win. I mean LA Knight is an upcoming superstar but he's not going to win this match. And I don't know how this is going to be if this whole place is going to be black and everyone's going to wear like neon shirts or just use their phone as like a you know the a camera for a spotlight. I don't know how this is going to work out. So it better not be disappointing. Next match. This is no order like I said earlier. The 30 women's Royal Rumble. The 30 Royal Rumble match. Sorry I got a little tongue tied. Anybody can win this damn thing. Anybody. Um, and hopefully it's someone fresh. Some of you think it'd be Lee Morgan. She had her opportunity back in the day. When she became Mrs. Money Bank. And she did not have that belt that long. She didn't. Because... I mean, she had a good run, but Ron Rousey took her away from her in the rest of the history. Will Ron Rousey be, be in this match? Uh, hopefully not. I mean, I don't mind she's in it, but don't let her win it again. I'm sorry. Let someone who's there full time. What about Shane Lee Baisley? That's my wild card pick for, for the number one. And number two, um, Vega. I don't know if she's championship. Ability, maybe she could win it, and then I don't know anybody could re return in this match. For maybe we'll have Alita, I think she's she announced it. I don't know why she announced it. Maya Holly, I think she announced it. Those people, Adobe Hall of Famers, should just don't see nothing. So maybe Trish will make her return. Those ladies will not win it because they just be there to fill in the spot. So Maybe it would be a great moment. Holy cow, she can let she pack. I think it's just there because they want that Rumble paycheck. That's all they want. Next one is the main event. The men's Royal Rumble. Um, it could be anybody. Maybe the return of Randy Orton. He could win it. I don't think so. Or maybe... Um, what else? Maybe Sheamus. Seth Frick Rounds. No. I want someone who would never won a Rumble. Maybe Bobby Lashley, probably not, because he will continue his feud with Brock Lesnar. We all know Brock Lesnar probably will be part of it, and probably will screw Bobby Lashley, and then we'll have that match one more time at WrestleMania. So, maybe Cordero to win it, and do the same path, what happened with John Cena, and today's the anniversary of John Cena winning it on January 27th, 2008. Remember, he came back from injury, and one whole thing. So they might do the same thing with Cody Rhodes. Came back from injury and won the whole thing. I think Cody Rhodes will be number 30. My guess. My 30. I don't know if... You know, Braun Strowman will kick some ass. And I don't know who will be the surprising people. I doubt it. Sam Punk will be it. Because I think he's still under contract with, with um, AEW. I doubt it. AEW will let him go and go to WWE. I flipping doubt it. But anything could happen in WWE. So what people would you like to see for the surprising people? For the women's and men's. Just the surprising, not the, on the current roster. Have a good one. Um, don't forget, tomorrow night, I'll go live in Living Color for um, live reactions for the Rumble only. For the men's return and debut. And same thing for the women's live, you know, the return and debut in that matter. Now, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the show, that's fine at the end. If not, then don't worry about it. Do you think we'll have a bizarre ending for the men's Royal Rumble and women's Royal Rumble? Or do you think it would be a clean finish? Let me know down below. Give me your thoughts. And look out for tomorrow night. And I'll see you guys later on tonight. Peace out and take care. Sorry if I went a little overboard. I love going to details on these kind of matches. Later.